Hey YouTube, what's going on? This is iTutorial. I'll do a quick tutorial for you guys today. Um, looks like I do the Lomo effect in Photoshop. Um, I'm using the CS4, and yeah. So here's how to do it. It's really um not that hard, and basically it's a really cool effect that can just spice up your pictures, and make them look a lot cooler. Really, really pretty simple to do. All right, so open up a picture. Just grab this picture of Channing Tatum, and open it in Photoshop. All right, so here's your. Sorry, that was my phone. My phone always goes absent. My phone always goes off in um, videos for some reason. Anyways, um, so once you get the picture open, go to this little circle thing. It's like a half black, half white circle. Basically, it's just like to make an adjustment layer. Go here and go to brightness and contrast. Um, to contrast at 20, like so. And exit out of that. Do it again and go to hue and saturation. And ump the saturation at 20. So already you can see a change in the image. It's looking a little bit, a little bit um, more poppy and stuff like that. Um, it's like this. Make this a little bigger here. Right. Go to your rectangular marquee tool, and you want to select the whole entire image. See how I have a little feather going on the edges like that. To get that, um, what you would do is you gotta do this. Put that as zero so you guys can see what I'm doing here. Okay. So I go to my marquee tool, see how it's at zero. And I select the whole thing in just a normal box. So you go to your image, image size, and you look at the image size. Mine's 450. Now, whatever your image size is, you have to look at the width. Look at the width. So go to image, image size, image, image size, and look at the width in pixels, 450. You take that width in pixels, so 450, and you divide by 12. I already know 450 divided by 12 is. 37.5 because I already did this before with the same image just to try it out first. So I'm going. So yeah. So just letting you guys. So I already have it ready, but you could just divide that real quick. You know your dashboard to calculate it real quick. Just do that. It doesn't have to be exact, but kind of around there. Then now as you add the feather, now you do a rectangle around the pin and just kind of edge uh rounded corners. To the rectangle which is cool because you give it a feather. Make a new layer above your original background layer. Make a new one. Like this. And right click the gradient tool to get the paint bucket tool. Make sure the foreground color is black, so make sure it's this is black, and then fill it in with black. And oh my, my bad, just kidding. Before I do that, when this is selected, go to image select inverse. So it's selecting the inverse, it's just selecting the corners, fill with black. Deselect that. Command D, control D, whatever you are using. Um click this and do it to make it overlay. Like that. Now you can duplicate this layer, right click. Duplicate layer, and okay. So see, it gives it a kind of a more uh, vignette around the image. See, so just want it to give it a better effect. Okay, so once that's done, um, sorry, I'm trying to remember the last step. All right, last step. Click on your background image, background layer, the original image layer, one more time, and click new. Go over here, right click this, and click on the gradient tool. Make sure it's on spherical, the circle one right here, the Radial gradient, whatever. Double click this and make sure it's. Yeah, wait. Make sure your foreground color is white. So make sure this is white and then click the double click this and make sure it's from white to transparent. Clicked. Click OK. And depending on what you're using, if you have portrait image, like mine is portrait or landscape. Um, if you're using portrait, go from center to up or down. If you're using landscape image, go from center to right or left. So I'm using portrait, so I'm just going to go from the middle. So from the center, go straight down, holding down shift to make a straight line, and there you go, you get a nice um, circle. Make that overlay, so it gives a cool effect like that. I kind of don't want the whole face washed out, so you, maybe you lower the, like, the opacity to whatever you like. Lower it um, about 7, eh, 66, looks pretty good. And there you go, that's the effect, long effect. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, quit pretty quick. In a, in a pretty quick fun thing to do to your images just to spice them up a bit please subscribe if you like this video more will be coming soon check out youtube.com slash the mac users it's a collab channel i'm in with um other mac with three other mac users um basically we're gonna do post a video weekly um either reviews unboxing video tutorials um a bunch of just tech related videos not just for apple people but um microsoft for you know, Windows users as well can benefit from the channel. So yeah, check it out, subscribe, please. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.